Hi and welcome to our lesson on drawing rectangles and triangles using dotted paper. There is an accompanying activity sheet to download and print. Here is some dotted paper. All of the dots are in line with each other one centimetre apart. We will use this paper to draw the following rectangle. It's three centimetres long, so we connect three lines. One, two, three. It's one centimetre tall, so we go down one centimetre. On a rectangle, opposite sides are the same length. Our next side is as long as this side. One, two, three centimetres. Our next side is as long as this side, one centimetre. We have drawn the rectangle. We'll now draw this rectangle. It's two centimetres wide, so we draw two lines. One, two. It's four centimetres long, so we draw four lines. One, two, three, four. Opposite sides are the same length, so we have one, two centimetres. And then, one, two, three, four centimetres to complete the rectangle. We'll now draw this rectangle. It's one centimetre wide and three centimetres long. The opposite sides are the same length. We will now try drawing a special type of rectangle called a square. A square has all four sides the same length, so we are only given one side length. This square has all four sides one centimetre long. We go across one, down one, back across one, and finally up one. This square is two centimetres long and two centimetres wide. We draw two lines across and two lines down. The opposite sides must be the same length. This square is three centimetres long. It's a square, so all sides are the same. We'll now draw right angled triangles. Here is a right angled triangle, two centimetres long and two centimetres wide. To draw a right angled triangle, we draw the horizontal and vertical sides first. This side is two centimetres long, so we draw two lines. This side is two centimetres, so we draw two lines upwards. Now we've drawn these sides, we can connect the ends to finish our triangle. We will now draw this triangle. It's one centimetre wide, so we draw one line. It's three centimetres tall, so we draw three lines up. Now we can connect the ends to finish the triangle. We'll now draw this right angled triangle. We draw the four centimetre lines, one, two, three, four. It's three centimetres tall, one, two, three. Now we have drawn two sides, we connect the ends to make the third. We will now draw an isosceles triangle. Here is an example which is two centimetres wide and two centimetres tall. 
we start with the base, which is 2 cm. Now we use the height of 2 cm, and we must go up from the middle of this line here. The triangle is 2 cm tall. 1, 2. You do not need to draw this line, but you could draw it in pencil faintly. All we do now is connect this end to the other two ends of the first line, here and here. We can now erase the red line shown. We'll now draw this triangle. We need to draw the base first. It's 4 cm long. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, we go up 1 cm from the middle of the baseline here. We now connect this end to the two ends of the base. We can erase the red height line shown. Now we'll draw this triangle. This time, we start with the height of 6 cm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will go across 5 cm from the very middle of our first line, which is here. Now we connect each end. Thank you for watching. For further practice, more questions are available on our website.